Hello and welcome. My name is Bradley Mayer Herman, and today I have the pleasure of being joined with Joe Andrews, a candidate for the council position in the town of Orangeville. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much, Bradley. A pleasure. So today I wanted to talk to you about the one of the main concerns that a lot of residents and voters have, uh, which is the size of the town and where it's going from here. Uh, what is the ideal size of Orangeville and where do you see it in five to ten years from now? Great question. From the perspective of someone who's been in the community a long time, I arrived in Orangeville when we had about 15,000 people. Uh, in 2016, the census data identifies we are just over 30,000. Orangeville has seen significant growth because of new home sales, as well as resales, as well as the push out from the core GTA. With pressures of population growth come the pressure of being able to support that, uh, the, that population itself. And so these questions will be very important for the new Orangeville Council. As the demand for more affordable housing continues in our community, we also have restrictions on our borders. So this means that we have limited core land available. Property unit density will have to be part of this ideal size realization as we move forward. So what is our ideal size? In five years, 32, 33,000. In 10 years, maybe up to 40,000 people. But how we grow, it has to be done strategically. Are we looking at some density such as two-story, low-rise and high-rise? This must also include affordable rental accommodations which are desperately needed in Orangeville. Currently, we have few remaining parcels of land where much concern has already been echoed by people of the community, such as the property behind the Orangeville Mall, as well as the west portion of Hanson Boulevard. In order to support growth, we must as a community be able to understand it comes at a cost, but also with a mindset change. If we can accept that in order to support the community services we have, the only way to ensure that they are still here five to 10 years from now is by properly and strategically growing our community population. The other option, as echoed in a previous answer, was to grow our industrial base to offset reduced population growth requirements. The pressures of growth mean several things as we as a community, more importantly, Orangeville Council, end up accepting population growth. If we can understand it, and respectively and strategically plan for it, we'll be in a very good spot in five to 10 years from now. Wow, well, that was a, a lot for us to think about for sure and some really good content. So thank you very much, uh, Joe, I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see some more content and answers from Joe Andrews, please don't hesitate to check out the links below and thank you for watching.